I don't know if you know, but when Ron Johnson initially made his mouthwash comments, that is that is something that the folks at our little attached newsroom here, Heartland Signal, broke that news. Obviously, he's still talking about it on the radio. Um, I want to do a quick lightning round with you. I'm going to read you some names, and you should tell me whether that is a mouthwash or a vaccine. Are you ready? <laughs> let's, let's go. All right. Listerine. I um I'm gonna guess that's a mouthwash. That is correct. Oral B. Oral B could go either way. Sounds like a mouthwash to me. It is a mouthwash. How about spike vax? Spike vax. Spike vax. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the context clues to say vaccine. <laughs> that's that is correct. Yes. How about somewhat similar? Vaxavria. Vax of Rhea. Oh, man. This is one I've never heard of. I would hate to get this wrong, but I'm going to say a vaccine. <laughs> That's correct. That's AstraZeneca's uh, vaccine. Uh, Therabreath. <laughs> Therabreath. You know, COVID-19 is a respiratory illness, but I am going to say it as a mouthwash. That is correct. All right. This is a little difficult. Comernity. Comernity. You know... All my research has led me to believe that that is a vaccine. That is correct. And then this is the final one, maybe the most difficult one on the list. Uh, the natural dentist. <laughs> the natural dentist is clearly the most difficult one, but I am going to say mouthwash. Thank you so much. Well, you know, I just showing your credentials here, knowing the difference between a mouthwash and a vaccine is is absolutely huge. 